A number of witnesses the state called this morning focused on the effects on students if schools don't open for face to face learning. We heard first from a special needs teacher in Hillsborough County. She said without teachers in person to help facilitate their learning, many of her students did less and less as digital learning went on over the spring and summer. Another witness, a mother from Palm Beach County whose 16 year old has autism. That county is not opening schools yet and her son's charter school won't be open either. She shared her difficulties when trying to teach her son using an iPad. He doesn't understand seeing another person and that would cause more distress where he would throw the iPad and then become self injurious or even aggressive toward me because I'm trying to force him to do something that he doesn't understand why he's doing. The state also called the CEO of the Central Florida Urban League, who spoke about the need to provide an option for kids whose parents are not able to be around to help them facilitate virtual learning. Attorneys on behalf of the teachers brought up the point that the virus is known to affect African American communities. They asked, what about black teachers who don't feel comfortable teaching in person? We did hear yesterday from a teacher who says that he was told he could not teach virtually. I would say that the local district, you have, and, and you, the local district, the local uh, school board members, they have to listen to their residents and they have to create the options. Orange County Public School students at all grade levels are scheduled to return to the classroom starting tomorrow. Hadass Brown reporting, West 2 News.